The interest for me is the discussion of economy um, and the arts and the, the conversation about money, really, ultimately, and how we as artists become uh, sustainable. Um, I think it, you're, it's always quite, you always are quite wary when it comes to these kind of events because when people start looking, I'm an artist, then I think there's a little bit, well, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about money, but what's been refreshing for today's uh, conference in, in the morning has been that people are discussing the idea of making money and becoming sustainable to allow them to do what they really want rather than what they have to do to live. I think people are, uh, we're afraid because of um, maybe the society idea that you know, you've got to be someone like Van Gogh or something in a shed, cutting off your ear, no money, earn no money, that kind of thing. And I think there's a there's this still a bit of a romantic idea, um, but with digital and new types of technologies, projects are becoming expensive. You know, and they're becoming ever more complicated, and they need bigger teams, um, they need more people. So I think that's you know why it's changing. I think. I think so for our particular company, Yellow Brick, we um, are trying to make a model where we um, put a lot of our money into the work we do and then also we do get a bit of public funding as well. So we're really trying to make it so uh, we have as much control as we can artistically, um, as much control um, within the work we do, but then also just the idea of um, still accessing public funds as well. Um, so we're quite a, in relative terms to, uh, for the Arts Council of Wales, so our funding body is Arts Council of Wales because we're from Wales. Um, we're a relatively young company for them in the sense that they've really only heard of us for, for the last two or three years uh, because we've only been uh, applying for that type of funding from them up until that point. But I think the work that we do, uh, the mixture of uh, the type of uh, technology and digital and also the physical kind of interactive playful work we do, I think um, has been, they've kind of really responded. So we're currently working on a trilogy, um, so we've done the first two um, and the third one it will probably be called Red Man and it's a multi-platform um, experience that you uh, begin via a character, uh, get to know him, get to know the issues, get to know uh, what the world is, and then from there you're kind of chucked in, down a rabbit hole into this uh, vast world that you can kind of interact with, uh, play physically, online, and offline. I think I think technology is an interesting one because you don't want to uh, excommunicate different you know groups. So uh, every point. I think if you see the technology, you probably failed. Um, the, for us, the technology or the digital aspects of stuff, uh, the kind of magic bits, the bits that allow us to kind of transport sound from me speaking now to over there, they're the bits that allow us to open doors or for people to go behind doors or through doors. So we're trying to make it that the digital technology is the magic and you're not going, oh, that was a good bit of technology, more Wow, that was an incredible experience. I think telephone, text messages and stuff like that to answer you because, you know, it's robust. Um, everyone has a, a phone that has the ability to text. And phone calls, you know, I, you say those two. So my name is Julie Sykes and I work for a company.